so let me ask you this <laughs> now because we haven't spoken um uh, in a while on this topic we can just shift to the Kendrick side of this right so the last time we spoke did we talk about Kendrick getting the Super Bowl we didn't speak about it <laughs> no we haven't spoken about that we haven't spoken about that so let me ask you this about Kendrick right do you do you think that Kendrick is Drake's Achilles heel or do you think Kendrick is the Omega and Drake's the Alpha yeah at this particular moment yes so okay so you think and let me and it's another question I have for you do you think Drake I mean do you think Kendrick has all the culture infinity stones right now <laughs> oh hell yeah <laughs> yes. So you think yes. that he you think that Kendrick can literally snap his spank? I before we even get to that, because I want to point out some things, right? And I think a lot of people don't notice this. Not like us dropped. That was back in May. Right? S song took off. After Not Like Us, he dropped a song called Watch the Party Die. It's another song. Then he did it. No, actually, before that, he actually no. It was the day. It was the day before Diddy got arrested. The day after Diddy got arrested, he dropped a song called "Watch the Party Die." Who? Kendrick. Kendrick. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Watch the party die. Then, I believe he announced the Super Bowl before that. Before he dropped the song. Yeah, but I believe it was around the same time he announced the Super Bowl. Right. Anyway, the point I'm making is. It just seems to me like everything that Kendrick does. I don't want to say it's a milestone, but I'm going to say it's a big deal. He just did an interview with SZA and the whole Internet is going crazy over the interview. He did, it was a it was an interview that you had to read. It wasn't an interview where it was a video interview. Mm -hmm. He did an interview with SZA and everybody's going crazy. So my question to you is. If he has all the, the 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 culture infinity stones, where does he go from here? Do you think that Drake? Do you think that Kendrick actually tries to change rap back to it being lyrics? Because, and the reason why I'm saying that before you answer, there's no songs, no rap songs on the Hot 100. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? The only one is this is is not like us. That's crazy, but it is what it oh, is. Oh, it's actually Gorilla, but I believe she's all the way down at the bottom. But still, so you think that he has a mo? This is the first time we can say that there's a rapper who literally can change rap back to where it was. Do you think that that's the case, or do you think that they will never let that happen? Who won't they as that in happen? they as in the the machine, the industry. Oh, no, 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 no. Drake, Drake can definitely, I mean, not Drake, I'm, I'm sorry. Kendrick Lamar can definitely push the culture to that way. Then can push it, okay. Oh, yeah, he definitely can. He definitely can push the culture that way, and I pray that he does. Because, okay, I don't not like today's music, mm -hmm. but today's music does not have the artistry. Well, the, the mainstream, you say. Yeah, that's what I mean, the mainstream. I know there. I know there's underground artists, and not just people that's not underground, but well, they would be considered underground. Mm -hmm. That's out here, and then you, but you have to go find them. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're being pushed in your face like the rest of these artists. That's the mainstream artist. I hope and I pray that lyrics become more of a thing, and I do think the people are starting to feel that vibe again mm -hmm. because I'm starting to see artists that's more lyrical become pushed up more to the forefront of hip hop and I'm loving it. So you think that that's a you think that that's a direct and this is going to sound crazy. Do you think that that's a direct how would I say this? Do you think that that's a direct relation to not like us? You think that not like us is the reason because because the real question I'm trying to ask you is, do you think Kendrick Lamar and Drake has destroyed hip hop as we know it? Because after they battled, it just seemed like hip hop has fell after that battle. Nobody has done nothing. 
of any significance after that battle. Maybe you got some people that you probably don't really fuck with Tyler the Creator. But Tyler the Creator dope. Yeah, he's dope. I'm just saying, but he's the only one that's just about to drop something. But it just seems to me after the Kendrick and Drake battle, it was kind of like the conclusion of hip hop. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is the end, the end game fight scene, and it fought, and it's over. Now the movie's over. That's how I look at look at it. Mm. Because look, look. The reason why I say that, right? Mm-hmm. We could go from LL and uh, what's the boy? LL and Kumo D. Mm-hmm. Or was it Karis One and MC Shan? We go down to. Uh, I'm taking like the battles. Yeah, significant, significant. You know what I'm saying? One. Significant battles. Then you go to Big and Pop. Then you go to Jay and Nas. Mm-hmm. And now you at Drake and uh, Kendrick. Mm-hmm. There's nothing after that. Who you who who can you say is after them dudes? It's kind of like they. It's kind of like the movie ended too early. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. But there's always going to be something. So, who, 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 would, who would you say? I don't know who's next. That's what I mean. So, what I'm saying to you is, I like, I don't know who's next. I guess what I guess what I'm trying to say is, is I feel like the reason why hip hop is the way it, where it's at today is because of these two dudes battle and now it's over. Yeah, that's how I feel. But that's but that's the way the world works. You know what I mean? Uh, something happens. A big. A, a big event happens and boom. It didn't really happen like that with Jay and Nas, though. Well, no, because hip hop was it was more yeah, than just Jay and Nas. Lot, it was a lot more people. Exactly, that was that really was, good, that was yeah. thriving in hip hop. Yeah, you still had Wu Tang. You still had a bunch of great artists that was still yeah making music. You still had you know what I mean products. You still had I mean, you still had my yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, it was a bunch of artists still. They was at the pen. They was at the top of it, mm. but it was still a bunch of artists that was still making platinum records. That's true. Yeah, you know I mean, this is something totally different. These two are like, it's like they're at the pinnacle of of what's going on right now, and nobody really comes close to them. To that's what I was gonna say to you. In this, in the state of hip hop history, these may be the two biggest rappers of all time. Like if you're talking in the grand scheme of things, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? If you're talking in the grand scheme of things, they accomplish more in less time than every hip hop artist. And they're really popular and they are actually good at what they do. So this is why I say the hip hop story has came into to an end and it's going to be something new because who are you gonna put after them? This fight, it's like, it's like it was the main event. Who's after that fight? Somebody new will come. It's gonna take a minute. But that's all right. As long as it's good music. I, I mean, I guess. But I that's, guess what, that's right. what I was saying I about. Right. But that's what I was saying about Drake. Mm-hmm. Drake can come out. He could have came out of this twelve times better if he would have just blocked out all the noise. Mm-hmm. Went into the studio and came out with a classic album. So you think he should have made an album? He should have made an album like at least right now. Like today is his birthday. Yeah, he should have came out with an album. Uh, I'm, I'm, that's how he's. That's that. That's how you get everybody back on you, on your side. But what making, happens? But what happens? If, what happens if you dra- you drop an album and Kendrick steps on that? You, you can't. You don't think Kendrick could step on that? No. He has the power to do that. You can't step on good music. Well, you can with good music. <laughs> okay, but it's not being stepped on. They'll be it's... back and forth with oh, it, right? That's fine. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But you but it's like it's like a uh it's like a fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like a fight. Okay, it's about you gonna get your t- ass totally kicked and you got your ass knocked the fuck out. Mm-hmm. And everybody like, damn, that's what's really happening right now. Yeah. Or you put up a fight. I'm guessing the momentum. And, the no, momentum. No, no. You put yeah. up a you put up a fight. You know what I'm saying? You put up a fight, and everybody like, yo, that was the best fight I've seen in my life. I yeah, and I get that. And I respect I both that. of those fighters. I understand that. And then you both of them go on to their merrily way, merrily way, and yeah. you still respect both of them as they leave. One of them has to be the winner. It's all right. 
But it's one has right. to be the winner. It's all right for somebody to be the winner. That's fine. That's what I'm saying. It's nothing matter with that. Look, I, the reason why I'm saying the reason why I'm saying this, and and I'm not put it to I'll put it to you like this. I don't think Kendrick Lamar is worried about Drake anymore. I think that's over with. I think I it's more think so people either. actually holding on to it because either either one, people who are on Kendrick's side, they really want to keep Drake out of here. And the people that's on Drake's side, they want Drake to come back and get his revenge. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got to get your get back, bro. That's what I think. That's not smart. It's really not, but I'm saying. The smart thing to do is to just do a, a is classic. Is to go into the lab yeah. And remind everybody why they loved you. Yeah. That's it. That's the only thing Drake can do. Is sit there, go into the lab, get away from all the noise, get mm. away from everything that 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 makes everything that, that everything that everything that makes the negative the okay, the only thing negative that he can take is what's gonna feed him to make a better album. Mm-hmm. Okay, everything else gotta go. All yeah. the other bull crap, he gotta go. He gotta go in there, and he has to make a great album. It don't even have to be a classic. It just has to be a great, be a great album. album. Mm-hmm. He just gotta have four to five singles. That's fire. Do you think he's working on that now? I don't know. Because because you told me he put out sixteen tracks by now. Yeah, sixteen. Songs. So that means he just sounds like he's just throwing shit up the wall and see what sticks. I, it's a couple of different things I think. Um, one, I think he wants to see what Kendrick does first. If he waits for that, it's over for him. Because number one, Kendrick has twenty twenty five on lock already. Once you do, he just won. So let's this is to be clear here. Kendrick just won eight BET awards. It's eight. Yeah. Just eight one awards one night. He's about to do the, the, the Grammys is coming up. He's gonna win the Grammys. That's happening. Right? Yeah, he might then be. right after the following week after the Grammys is the Super Bowl. He's doing the Super Bowl. Right after the Super Bowl, I'm thinking he's gonna drop his album. Or he might drop his album before the Super Bowl. But let's just say for argument's sake, after the Super Bowl. He's going on a world stadium tour. The one thing that Drake has never done is a stadium. I know people don't know that, but Drake has never done a stadium tour. Now, I don't know if this is a thing where Kendrick is because the two highest grossing uh, concerts was Kendrick and Drake's. Kendrick, uh, uh, Drake was, uh, Kendrick was actually number one with Mr. Moran on the Big Steppers tour. Then Drake, uh, they released the numbers and Drake, uh, I believe like a hundred thousand more uh dollars or something like that. He uh with his uh the uh, I can't remember the name, but the, the blind something uh blurred blurred lines or blurred something tour. Uh Drake, what's the name? But the thing about this, people don't know. I believe Drake had other people with him. Kendrick didn't have other people with him. He only had him and his cousin. That was it. Oh, baby, baby King. Baby that was King. it. I don't think Kendrick had Double anybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love that fine. song. It's fine. Um, but also too, um, he just turned down Coachella. Kendrick. Mm-hmm. Actually, Rihanna did too. But Kendrick just turned down. So the thing is, I'm saying what I'm saying is, <laughs> I think people gotta realize this about Kendrick. Kendrick's already been popular. It's not mm-hmm. like he hasn't been popular. I don't know why people think that this is like his breakout shit. He's already been who he is. I think he's setting himself up to compete with Drake at a level that we never seen. And on top of that, he's setting himself up to compete with him with music that's not pop music. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because all his songs is not, it's not pop music. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with I like pop stars. My favorite artist is a pop star. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. like pop music. I'm just saying, I think that this is where Kendrick is going. When he mentioned the two rappers, D1 and the other boy, those Christian rappers, that lets me know that. Yeah. Yeah. In the song, Watch the Party Die, he was saying 
he he wish he was like D1. Like he mentioned he mentioned these Christian rappers. I think that Kendrick in his head is preparing for something to try to change the game into something else. That's just how I feel. And I think that there's rappers who should get a, get a shot. Ransom is one of them. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but I think Kendrick does have the uh, the power right now. And what he's going to do uh, with yes. it, we'll see. And But the thing is, I think the people are still not... I think they're really tired of the drill. That's true. And I don't mean just like drill, drill, but they're tired of... I think, I think the people are tired of seeing the destruction in the gangster and gangster rap. But that's true, man. That's so, true. That's what Drake converted to, to be honest with you. Nah. Because he wasn't bro, really I, rapping like that. He wasn't rapping see, like gangster. I don't see him. I don't ever see. I don't see no, him no. I'm saying gangsta. his content became more leaning more towards uh, that. He got, a, he got an album with 21 Savage, bro. Yeah, well, 21. 20, that's my nigga doing the love. You get what I'm saying? I like so 21. He, he, if you listen to if you listen to most of the most of his raps, he's not directly saying he's a, he's a gangster, but I think exactly. his sound is more on that hardcore line you know what i'm saying well just like you say he's jumping on a wave of of of, of that artist and that artist wave is gangster mm -hmm. hip-hop you yeah. know what i mean but i don't see i really don't see nothing wrong with with somebody collaborating with another I don't think, artist i don't think there's nothing wrong with that i don't see nobody collaborating with another artist and 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 adapting to what they're doing in a way not totally totally committing to what they doing mm. but collaborating and ad adapting to their wave of doing music mm. nobody can adapt to all the way to the way young thug does music mm. like nobody can you totally know somebody ten thousand percent biting a young thug verse or something like that like he's just that different mm -hmm. i mean when he when he makes music so uh i don't i don't that's, that's why i don't really have a i don't really have a really big big problem about how drake did what he did mm. with other people but he also helped these other artists too man like i don't see how like like people don't see like he didn't help them too i think i think people i think people don't even look at it from that point of view they look at it more from the I think and now, now some people do look at it the way you look at it I'm not gonna sit here and lie about that because I think people do but I also think people look at it from the opposite end of it saying well they helped him because he wasn't a street dude and they gave him that pass kind of like how Eminem was they gave him that pass to come there they gave him that pass to do these things that's why I think people are saying about Drake but what's the problem with that well, it's no, I don't think it's a problem, but I just think people. Well, then, get, then again, I think people make a problem out of everything. And like, it, like yeah. what is the problem for him saying, "Yo, I like your music. I think we should collaborate." Because some people look at it as he's not being genuine about it. He's only doing it for his own self gain. Because if you look at the history of it, outside of Future, most of those artists that he worked with didn't blow up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, because of him, they blew up because of their after that. But that's their fault? That's his fault? I won't say it's his fault because it's really I'm, not I'm his like, fault. Really, really, really think about it. I put you in a position. Well, you didn't put me in a position. Oh, yes, I put I you get, in a position. No, no, how? Because I gave I'm you the, the bigger, sound. I'm the bigger artist. You gave now, me the that, sound. You just no, gave no, me no, the no, crowd. No. That's it. I, exactly. So right now. So you said, okay, then, that, so, then that's a different argument. Not, it's the same. Okay, whatever our, I, I don't understand what you mean by that because if, because if I'm collaborating with collaborating with you on music, yeah, and your sound is different, and we're we're, we're collaborating on a song, I only use your sound for that one song. It's not like I'm making a whole album with your sound. That one song made you who you are, made you a versatile artist. Exactly, but I mean that lets everybody know that I can do different styles. No, you can't do different styles. That doesn't let me know that. That well, lets me know not? that you're a copycat. 
That's it. How? I have to see if you I just, created. Three, I just explained to you that I'm, people I, I, been doing this. I give you. I give you an example. I give you an example. I give you a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard all of Kendrick's albums? Yes. You see that they don't sound nothing alike. That's the style. That's different. That's somebody that does something. It does sound okay. None of his music sounds the same. None of his music don't sound directly the same. No. None of it. But his style is Kendrick Lamar's style. That, but the, but the point I'm making to you is he developed a, a way where if he decided that he wanted to rap a certain way and that's all he wants to do, he can do that. Drake had to have assistance to get to that point. That's all I'm saying. I ain't saying he's wrong for it. I'm just saying he jumped on a wave. That's cool. But I understand why people get upset when people call him a culture vulture because some of these people they created a sound and he came and took it not to say he, it, maybe it was a, a, a handshake and they agreed but he still took a sound that wasn't his he made it big and he moved to the next one that's the definition of a colonizer you know what i'm saying okay I that's hear, all i'm saying i hear what you're saying and when what you're saying does make sense in it does make sense in a way mm -hmm. yes it does i cannot take what you're saying and saying is wrong but in hip-hop this is what people have done forever mm -hmm. and then now all of a sudden since he's doing it it's a problem that's my problem mm -hmm. you know what i mean since he's doing it it's a problem no man have that same energy for everybody like they've been doing this when, when we were growing up yeah you couldn't do that you took somebody's style couldn't do that that was a fight yeah, it, 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 niggas from the West Coast. Y'all like niggas, like, yeah. you yeah. people, let this be start being accepted. Mm -hmm. And when y'all start letting it do that, this is what happens. Yeah. This is what happens when you start letting that stuff happen. Now, you let this stuff happen. That's why I'm not as invested in hip hop the way I used to be. Because all the rules that I grew up with are pretty much dead. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I don't care as much as I used to. Mm. That's why when Drake came and they accepted him, I was like, well, let me, let me, well yeah, maybe I, 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 yeah, I'll accept this dude. Because, it's, I mean, he's actually pretty good. The music is pretty good. Mm. Uh, I don't take him nothing serious about him. The only thing I see about him is that he makes good music. I don't take nothing serious, like that serious I used to take my hip hop. I don't take hip hop serious at all. Period. The way I used to, mm -hmm. like, and it's because of the culture and the way it had the culture of hip hop has changed. Nothing is the same. Yeah, Nothing is the Drake, way as it used that's, to be. That's, uh, that's one of the name of Drake's album. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nothing is the same. Wow. Well, I just, I, not to even say that, but it's not. <laughs> but it's not, bro. So, oh, so, shit. so the rules of engagement is different. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? And y'all, the people, have let the rules of engagement change. Yeah, that's right. And then y'all want to cry about it. You want to cry about it when it starts to happen. You can't, like, bro. Y'all allowing this, man. The mm. culture of hip hop has allowed this. Yeah. You have allowed this to happen. So this is what happens when shit goes unchecked. When there is no gatekeeping. Should be definitely gatekeeping. When there's no lie. gatekeeping, gatekeeping, guess what? This is what happens. When things go unchecked, mm -hmm. this is what happens. And this is what you get. So guess what? You're welcome. <laughs> you gave this is what you wanted, yeah. and this is what's happening. Now, hopefully. We can get back to because Drake had different rules. He had different he had different morals when he first came out. He was more of a backpacker with a little twist for females. Because mm. he messed with Little Brother, Slum Village, those type of artists when he first was coming out. When he first was coming out, he was a more of a backpack type rapper. Because he knew he couldn't be a hip hop uh, a gangster rapper. So he knew he had to go that other lane. Yeah. He knew he couldn't be a, a gangster rapper. 
And I kind of accepted that from him because he wasn't trying to be nothing he wasn't. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And, he, and that's the only reason why I still accept Drake because he's still not being nothing that he wasn't. He's still being the same Drake that I saw from the very beginning. There's nothing different about what he's doing. It said that he has more power, mm -hmm. so he's flexing his muscle power-wise with other artists and other things. Yeah. But besides that, he's still the same person. But mm -hmm. y'all accepted this. We all accepted it. I came from, I accepted things because I didn't care no more because I seen the rules of engagement were totally different and I just couldn't believe it. Like, yo, y'all letting this, y'all letting that, mm -hmm. this is cool now. Y'all let, what? Oh, you know what? I ain't got time to be arguing with y'all <laughs> yeah, about yeah. this shit. Yeah. You know what? I'm, 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 I'm throwing in the towel. I'm just going to sit here and just let the music do what it do and not care as much as I used to. Yeah. I think a lot of people felt that way. I really do. I think a lot of people felt like a lot of people. I think a lot of people feel like they kind of like gave up and they just let it happen. But it is what it is. Hey man, look. Thank y'all for joining us, man. We appreciate y'all. Talk up. Talk up. Man, hey man, we out of here, man. See y'all. Peace. Holla.